Hey party people, it is Jamie back with So Square Cubed. I am doing some more tarot. Um, I don't want these videos to be super duper long, but I also do want to do tarot for each of the star signs because I think that's only fair. However, if I did every star sign every single month, uh, that video would be like an hour long, minimum. So I'm just gonna go in order for now and maybe in the future I can do like a Twitter poll of like who wants to see what next. Um, also, if you do follow me on Twitter, I do individual tarot readings, so if you ever want to request one, one cards are free, so I can pull a card for you, no problem. Anyhow, today, because I am going in order, I am reading tarot for Capricorns. Gonna be honest, I don't, I don't think I know any Capricorns. No? Wait, maybe I know, I might know two. I might know two Capricorns. Anyhow, today we are reading tarot for Capricorns because you guys are the next up in the astrology um, line, I guess. And I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my cards because I think I did a tarot reading for myself recently. And it's just good practice to always cleanse your cards. We are using my tiny tarot cards. Again, I do have other tarot sets. This one I think is pretty cool, the illuminated tarot. I consider this one to be more an oracle set because it doesn't have the major arcana cards, but they're pretty cool. I like the art on some of these. That one's nice. Uh, and then I have one more set that I can't show you because my camera is balancing on it, um, but it is the crystal tarot, so it involves tarot, but also it discusses the metaphysical meaning of crystals associated with the cards. But today we are going with tiny boy tarot. Before we get started, I've actually noticed that a very large percentage of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So I want to take this moment to remind you that if you like my content, if you want more of my content, the best thing you can possibly do is subscribe if you are not already. The second best thing you can do is comment if you have not commented already. And the third best thing you can do is like if you have not liked already already. I know the algorithm actually values likes over comments, however, I like to hear from you guys personally and the like button kind of lets me know you enjoy the content, but what really lets me know you enjoy is subscribing and commenting what you like about what I make. For today's comment of the day, if you could actually comment down below what are some misconceptions about your sign or like what are some things people say like, oh, that's such a Capricorn thing that like don't apply to you whatsoever. That's what I wanna know. So my bad boys are cleansed. Y'all know I do this by splitting them into threes. And then we are just gonna shuffle and think about Capricorns. What are some very Capricorn things? What are they signified by? The goat. I thought Aries was the goat. Aries is the ram. What is the difference between a goat and a ram? I thought they were the same thing. Am I? I'm wrong for sure. I just wanted to make sure. Well, anyways, what is going to happen to our Capricorn friends this upcoming year, this upcoming December? Um, as you all know, the cards are going to answer whatever question they want to answer. So eh, as long as I'm thinking about you, we'll get a question. So now, and y'all know I have to split into five. So where's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, the four piles are kind of tiny there, but that's, that's fine. So now that we have our piles, we draw our cards. So first card, we have three of wands. If I remember correctly, that signifies business contracts. And our second card is death. Why do I keep pulling this card? Do not worry about it. If you have missed my previous tarot video, one, you should totally go watch it, and two, death does not mean what you think it means. Do not freak out. I will explain. Oh, the fool, okay. Number four, six of cups. I think I remember what that one is. It's like your, your worries are overburdening you or something. Okay, I foreshadowed pulling this, did I not? When I showed you my cards earlier, did I not foreshadow pulling this? I'm using my tiny tarot deck, my little babies. Um, these are my affectionate call-out cards. Oh my god. That's, uh, this is the Gemini card. And I like to lay them out in this just because it keeps me, like, on track. And I need my handy Tome of Tarot. God, I want to make that into a book. That would be fun. Anyhow, does not matter. Three of Wands. This is the card that represents you. 
So Capricorn, let's find out who you are. Business partner or business dealings. Um, this could be a co-worker situation, refinancing in work or personal. It is very formal. So this does not necessarily tell me a whole bunch, but what I infer from this is you probably are dealing with a lot of work stuff right now, whether that be like you're trying to get a promotion, trying to find a job, just got fired, etc. Probably dealing with a lot, but in doing so, I get the feeling you probably carry yourself a lot more like virtuously and like up at work than how you probably do anywhere else. Very, not formal, but not casual in the way you hold yourself. Death. This represents the question the card wants to answer. In tarot, the death card does not mean death. So death, it is not physical. It means change from one phase to another. Change is happening. It is the death of a situation. This could be the death of a situation, of an idea, of a dream. The cards needed to signify that this is a physical death are not here, so you're okay. But your question is relating to the changing of a situation. So let's get more info on that. Your past influences are zero or the fool, the lamentful wanderer, ignorant, carefree. Maybe you shouldn't be ignorant of the situation you're in, and maybe you should start to become aware of what's around you. Now, that is in your past influence, so depending on who you are, you maybe changed, maybe started realizing like, oh, I can't just go ar around in life being completely aloof. I have to do something. I have to be aware. You have to feel something about something, even if that's only yourself, you can't just not care about anything for your whole life. That's not how humans are designed to work. So depending on who you are and we'll get more information, let's see if you changed or not. Six of Cups, you are being influenced from your past, often influenced by childhood. Essentially any of the information that your parents or adults gave you when you were a kid, you kind of record that information and at its core, you're still holding on to something of that. Maybe it's time to change the tape. This often indicates very low self-esteem, there might be growth. So this is your advice card. The advice is it's time to change that. If you need to walk away, become aware and walk away. What the potential outcome can be is the King of Pentacles. I believe that's the Gemini Twin Cities card. Okay, so the Gemini situation card, which is what this is, doesn't always signify a person who is a Gemini. Sometimes it just means that this outcome will have that type of energy. So the Gemini situation it is difficult, conflicting, cynical, and moody, a nature that is in constant flux, always in change. Um, the situation can have good and bad times, and it tends to signify like chaos and conflict. It likely means that no matter what outcome from the advice that you get, it's going to be a hard decision, a difficult decision, but once you make that decision to value yourself over everyone else you've been valuing, the road is going to be long and hard. I imagine though that it's going to be worth it. I'm gonna pull a clarifying card for the outcome. Two of Wands. So let's see if the outcome is going to improve. Okay, so this is important. Remember what I said about how there is going to be conflict? Well, Two of Wands says someone is lying. I don't necessarily think that this is a bad reading. It's certainly not as positive as it could be. However, learning that someone may not necessarily be truthful with you, it gives you an opportunity to cut that person from your life and say, I will no longer allow you to take up space that is valuable to me. And I kind of think that's what this reading is all about. Is it the most positive reading in the world? Not really. However, in my personal opinion, if there is someone devaluing your worth, not treating you the way that they should, affecting your self-esteem. It is probably time to cut that person out of your life because you're more valued than the way they make you feel. The road is going to be long and hard, but 
it will be worth it for you to find that value of yourself again. All in all, my lovely Capricorns, I believe in you and I want you to know that you're worth so much more than what someone who's going to lie to you makes you feel like you're worth. So stay strong. And I do believe it's going to get better. Other than that, you guys, I love you. Stay cool, stay cubed, and I will see you next time. Mwah. Toodles.